Happy Tuesday, Stampers! Time for a few techniques. So this week I'm going to use my paper pumpkin that I got um, about a week ago. And it uh, came with everything to make these really cute little trick-or-treat bags. Whoops, can't see very well. And you could either use them as trick-or-treat bags or you could use them as like a, just a fall or an autumn decoration. So I always make at least one or two exactly like it showed, and I made this one with the fall decoration. I thought that might even be cute as um, table decorations on my Thanksgiving table this, this year. But then I thought, okay, so what else could I do with this? So the first thing would be, of course, just to decorate a plain Butterfinger. Um, I took the, the little um, fringe here, and I wrapped it around the Butterfinger, and then I stamped the little... Um, pumpkin and the eat me if you dare and that could be a cute little um, trick-or-treat for the kids. You could also take some of the um, fiber that comes in there. You could uh, stamp your little um, Halloween and you could tie that around as well. Again, makes a really cute little Halloween decoration. The other thing is I have these little um, containers with lids whoops, that I got at Walmart some time ago and they would be perfect for fitting some of the fall M&Ms or candy corn or something like that. You could take a, um, a circle or I have a scallop circle, put on the top of that and add uh, maybe the truly thankful with some of the leaves stamped around that all come in the stamp set with this and that would be also a cute little decoration maybe for the Thanksgiving places. Okay, so what if you wanted to stamp a card? Well, I thought it would be really nice to take and again all these stamps are included in the stamp set and I stamped two of the leaves in um, two different colors and then also the acorn and then if you were to take that and put it on maybe a piece of orange paper, I then took these little tags come where you just punch them out. So I took a piece of the leftover here and I would make a little border there, here and here. I would cut that off. And then from there I could either add the little tags and put it like this that I had stamped. Whoops that I had stamped for my original bag, or again, I could take just a little scallop circle with some of my pumpkins and leaves, and that would make a really cute card. Another thing that I thought would be nice, I took some of the fringe that comes, and I took the Cajun Craze Stampin' Spot, and I just sponged some color over that, and I placed that on the front of a card. Now, you'll want to watch your glue stick because I didn't do that very well. I would then just snip off the edges to finish the card. I then took, again, the fibers. I stamped actually right on the uh, paper bag that comes in there and cut that out with the fibers behind, and I thought that that made a really cute card just using some of these elements. Okay, and then another thing I thought was, okay, to make a Halloween card, how about if I took the black paper, took a little bit of my white ink and sponged it over here, and I put some glue stick down here, and then again, I just took these fibers, I cut them to make a fence. I then cut out the moon, I put the witch's hat on that one with the happy haunting, and then I took some of these tags and I thought, you know, that looks a little bit like a tombstone. So I took the R, the I, and the P off of a couple of the different stamps, there's the P right there, uh, stamped R-I-P and made a little tombstone I could then put on there and make a card out of this. So those are some cute ideas. If you didn't actually get the paper pumpkin, you could use your own paper bag and cut into strips to do this. Um, and I will just tell you that this set also comes with a little candy and you could either make it um, into a, like a Christmas card. So now this doesn't come with the set, but the, uh, the little candy does, and I just put some glitter on that. So no matter if you're going to make the original bags that this came from, or you want to make some fall cards, or maybe some candy decorations, there's a whole lot that you can do with your paper pumpkin besides just making the one design that it came with. So I hope you'll try something new, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.